Welcome, I'm here at the uh, Nathan Phillips Square here in Toronto. The uh, Hadalop Bully Prevention Rally just took place. I'm here with the civil medalist for the 2008 Olympics, Jason Burnett. Right. Thank you, Jason. <laughs> Very nice uh, to meet you, and uh, thanks for having me out here. We've had an amazing day here at Huddle Up uh, for bully prevention. Uh, we've done a really lot of good things. They had the Argos out here. They had some break dancers. They had DJ Romeo, uh, all to bring awareness about uh, anti-bullying and the struggles that kids go through in school. You're a trampoline athlete for Canada, and you know what I want you to do is I want you to go back to when you first started doing it. There's an awful lot of youth right now that they're starting out and they're looking and they're looking up way up here. Can you talk about some baby steps you took along the way and some of the struggles you went through? Yes, absolutely. It wasn't always easy starting out as a young athlete. Um, why I'm here today is because I struggled with some bullying issues myself in school, which made me really uh, clam up and put me back in my shell where I wasn't uh, very outgoing, I was very shy, and that made it really difficult to try new things. And it wasn't, uh, if it wasn't for my parents encouraging me and insisting that I try extracurricular activities, then I probably wouldn't have found my sport, which eventually went on to uh, give me a lot of confidence because I excelled at it and I found friends with common interests within it. And because of that, I was able to progress through a provincial and national and international circuit and make it to the Olympic Games to represent Canada. What I'd like you to do now, I'd like you to share some people that you, you felt were heroes and inspired you that could actually inspire other people by the actions that they've accomplished. Yeah, of course. I definitely had heroes growing up, and I think the two that come to mind right away, their names are Karen Coburn and Matthew Turgeon, and they were both uh, Olympic trampolinists as well, and I was fortunate enough to train in the same gym as them uh, when I was about 12 years old. And I remember stepping into this gym, Skyriders Trampoline Place, and seeing these two athletes train and watch them compete, and the moment I saw them, they were doing the biggest, craziest tricks that I could imagine, even ones I couldn't imagine. And from then on, that became the new bar and they became my new goal. I had to beat those two athletes because I knew if I wanted to be the best, then I needed to model myself after someone who was already doing such incredible things. 2014, I know that you suffered a knee injury, uh, but you were able to recover from it. Yes, uh, yes and no, actually. I tore my ACL in 2014 and I came back pretty quickly to sport and about 11 months after I retore it, which was a pretty devastating uh, news to get just because I got that news three days before I left for the World Championships and the Olympic qualifier. And basically, my doctors and physios, we decided that I needed to pretend I didn't get the diagnosis and I needed to ignore it because I'd been training reasonably well with a really unstable knee and I need to go to this competition and see if I could qualify for the Olympics. And thankfully, I managed to qualify uh, ranked 18th out of about 120 people that day and managed to qualify through to the Olympic Games. But that was a, um, a very challenging time in my life and of course I didn't get to compete as well as I'd hoped but my goal was to do three games in my trampoline career and it's not necessarily over yet but I was so happy that I fought through the struggles and achieved my goal. Well, thank you so much for your time and, you know, and just keep doing the amazing work you're doing. Happy to do it. Thanks very much for speaking with me.